wanted to show you the final results of using the chain stitch on the 431G and also the 158-1914 sewing machine. So this is a single chain stitch on, as you can see, jersey, so it's stretchy, so that works very, very well. Results quite good. I had a little bit of problems with the collar, but not in the way you expect. The pattern actually said that there must be two and a half times stretch, but there isn't that much in this fabric, so it's a bit bulky, loose here, but I wanted to get my head through. I could have put elastic in the middle of it and it would have been fine, but I wasn't too worried. It's very comfortable. It was just a good test. This is a very short video to say that I'm off-grid at the moment. The power has gone out just in my neighborhood, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm very fortunate that I have some music on my cell phone and a monster speaker and a backup here that I bought ages ago because my old phone battery used to run out lots, so I'm quite fortunate. But once it gets dark, then I'm going to have to get extra creative with candles and stuff, but that's okay. But the good news is my Davis here is working just fine with pedal power. So I'm able to, I was fortunate that I had anticipated getting this work for the knits done. And so I got well ahead on my work here so that I'm not stuck with a project that I can't actually do. Oop. So I'm good, glad that I'm just doing this bit now which is joining the seam so I can finish this project um, in anticipation of the power coming on in oop, something they said around four hours according to the website. So I'm not sure if a transformer's blown or someone's dug through the cables. But I don't often do this, but I expected at some point in my life that I would end up in the power outage. But considering I've back, been back in Toronto now for six years and I haven't had this happen in that entire time, I thought, okay, well, this is not going to happen. However, I do have a hand crank for my 201, or it could put it, drop it into this treadle case, in which case it'll work fine for that. But I also have been working on the <clears throat> using the low voltage 24 volt um, sewing machine motor. So I've got that on my industrial, but that'd be easy to plug on to. Um, a number of different types of battery, whether it's a 12 volt battery and use a step up transformer for that, that's no problem. That would work fine. Or just do the hand crank and the treadle, that works fine as well. But the difference is with the, uh, the uh, other transformer, I could use other machines, I could drop the motor on some of the non-digital machines, so the mechanical machines, to get access to other stretch stitches and stuff like that. But for the need here I've got, it's so limited that I'm not too worried about it. I'll finish this project and uh, keep going. The kind of funny bit is the, the quickest music I found was just Christmas, and I'm fine. It might be March. But that's okay, it's Easter, and we'll listen to Christmas music. I have some Easter stuff in here somewhere, but I'll find it. And I'll put it on later, but Easter's fun. So anyway, here's the mess that I've got at the moment, which is quite gross. Because this is my office, since we're all working from home, but you know, I've got my laptops, and then my two sewing machines that I usually swap all between. But at the moment, I'm just on my treadle, which is fine. Bye for now.